All my fans of the Chow Racing Universe, what time is it? It's main event time! That's fine, and here's Bob to tell us all about the details for Week 4's main event. Alright, Week 4's main event will feature our two time returning champion Zach Arson as he challenges with Eddie Warriors of the Warriors Brothers, Kenny Days, and the Cowboy Benny Mullen. So, for the past two times, Zach Arson has followed his hearts with all of his fans and also fulfilling a role to redemption run for 2021. Tonight, we will find out if he will complete his Superstar of the Week trilogy with an amazing main event he had to face in a tough test. Let's see if he can get his third and final Superstar of the Week victory. So, it's best of luck to the four remaining participants for Week 1's action. You are John 2020. The fans are ready and we're all ready to go as well. So, without further ado, let's have a challenge! Alright. And number one is Corvette, so he will be left behind the crowd. The fans want a standing ovation for Zach Orson, trying to help him get his redemption for 2021. And right now, Zach is pausing for more, trying to figure out a good strategy to work for his tough test for Week 4's main event. Right now, the other four free child are going to eat the fruit right now. And it looks like they're all going to be off and running with Kenny Nays. Right on the lead, and it's by Tommy is standing ovation. And number seven will once again win the opening toss. That's the second race in a row that number seven has got the first b for the weekly races. And right now, it will be number one dancing to the beat all the way back. So number one will have a lot of catching up to do in the only one. As the superstar to get speed number two is Kenny Days. And I do believe he might be flying over the bridges. Yep, there he goes! And uh-oh, now he's catching up to our leader, Eddie Williams. Eddie, you better watch out, Kenny Days is right on his tail. Kenny and Eddie are making their way towards the top of the wall, top of the hill, bowing neck to neck to become the new superstar of the week. As the next beers we made by number eight, who does bring us catch up every now and then. That was a good speed bus right now. That will be poor number two straight in last place as we pass the one minute mark. Now number two is getting left behind for number eight. I think number two should get to Spears now if he wants to catch up with the crowd in a hurry. But let's head back to number eight. As he passes for one, now he has a place to catch up with number seven, who is also passing for one. Meanwhile, Eddie and Kenny continue to battle for the lead, but Zach Orson is trying to make a comeback, trying to beat out these two opponents in a hurry. As the Cowboy, Benny Moon will get a turn now, but I don't think he'll make it all the way to first place. I don't think it's that's going to be Anyway, poor number two is still way behind last place. I do believe it's time for number two to get some speed runs right now. But it's number one who leads over the floor to a child with fifth place who have the next game at Spears. Meanwhile, back up in front, Kenny Days and Eddie Williams are still neck to neck with Zach Orson right on his tail in third place. And it looks like Kenny Days spots number one. And Zach Orson is making him rally, trying to beat out Eddie Williams as they head towards one stretch. And here comes Kenny Days with his second Spears. Kenny, Eddie, and Zach are all heading for the water, and I do believe Zach Austin will be able to get his third and final superstar on the week honors this week. He beats up both Kenny Days and Eddie Williams in a flash. So, as Benny Moore takes his second speedruns, the superstar on the week trilogy is going to be complete for Zach Austin this week. Zach Austin is the superstar week for the third and final time in a row. He beats out Eddie Williams and Kenny's who will have second and third places respectively. As the last few as a week force action we made by number eight. So, despite a fierce battle between Eddie and Kenny at the home stretch, it is Zach Austin who gets his third and final main event victory this week. That's right, that means we'll have four new competitors in next week's main event. And we're ready to close our show a little bit right now. Let's see a word from this.